Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're going to take a look at the two different versions of the Iron Spider figure by Hot Toys that have been announced yesterday. We'll take a look at the Artisan Head version with the rooted hair first and then we'll go on to the sculpted hair version. So we have separate eyeball rolling system, wool hair implantation, all LED light up points powered by USB magnetically attached. All oh right, magnetically attached pincers. Well, that's new. They're going to have to be some strong ass magnets. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of think I prefer the plug in system, even though you get those unsightly plugs at the back when you're not using the arms. Hmm. Well, if they're really strong magnets, it could be OK. I used to own the original version of the Iron Spider by Hot Toys. I sold it promptly, reviewed it, got rid of it. Cheap feeling piece of crap. Hated it. The head sculpt was it felt hollow, cheap plastic. It was awful. Um, this one, not for me, just covering it on the channel because I'm trying to do more of these. My thoughts videos, you guys seem to enjoy watching them. So we'll take a look at what we get here. You've got the infinity gauntlet that you can hold on to a bunch of different eyes. Nice base. I like the base. Cool web uh, effect there, uh, kind of latching onto what's it? Milnir, the Thor's hammer. I forget the name of it now. I think it's Milnir, something like that. Um, yeah. The head sculpt still doesn't seem to match the suit very well. And uh, hair does look good there. I don't know, man. I'm seeing um, a bit of a difference between the head and the body, the suit. Um, it does look nice. I'm sure it's an improvement over the last one. But I would still be very wary and I would hesitate picking this up. I'd wait and see some reviews first. Yeah, the hair on this, when it comes to rooted hair, short hair seems to work really well with Hot Toys. Get some close-ups here. Nice bit of battle damage on his cheeks there on the nose. Subtle, but enough. The eyes are good. Everything's good, man. I mean, these Tom Holland head sculpts have been fantastic lately. Really, really impressive. So here's the old one on the right, I believe, and the new one on the left. So, yeah, the arms look longer. The actual pincer arms. Overall, it does look nicer, but still, to my memory, doesn't look quite there yet. And I would honestly prefer, instead of, for, especially for this version of Spider-Man, just, uh, you know, just plastic jointed figure. You can conceal the joints as best you can. But imagine having this figure in 1-6 scale by Hot Toys, fully plastic with joints. You can pose the hell out of it. Never have to worry about the suit ripping. I mean, even a simple pose like this there, you know, sticking to the wall, the knees bent the way it is, it's going to cause trouble. Uh, nasty wrinkle in the elbow area on his right arm there. Yeah, it's just a troublesome, stressful piece, to be honest with you. Um, I'm not really, not really into this. I just, from my previous experience, I wouldn't go near this with a 10 foot barge pole, mate. I would, I would stay well clear. But I do think, you know, the head sculpt looks fantastic. Oh, that was the sculpted hair there. We'll see that again in a minute. Uh, these pictures might be a little bit jumbled up because. A lot to do today, folks. I've already done the Black Widow video today, and I still need to do the Darth Vader one as well. But here is the sculpted hair version. If I was going to get one, I'd go for this one, personally. I prefer the sculpted hair. I don't, obviously, I think the real hair looks more real, way more convincing, but I don't have to be faffing about with hair. I, if I can help it, I'd go sculpted every time, as long as it's sculpted well, and this definitely is. So, yeah, my only real concern is the difference between the actual Spider-Man head sculpt and the suit. The light-up features all over the suit is nice. USB powered. So that's nice. Yeah. You get the base with both versions, so that's good. And overall, you know, definitely if you're going to just keep it in a museum pose and keep it safe and make a nice addition to your lineup of Spidey figures. But yeah. It's a lot to pay for something that, if you pose, is going to get destroyed. And I think that looks just as good. The sculpted hair, I think that looks fantastic. Love the eyes. The texture of the skin as well. All the little, little tiny little micro details. Incredible. Uh, the transition from the neck to the body where the head detaches. That's fine. Never really bothers me. They've got to do what they've got to do. Yeah, that is him, 100%. So, oh man, I can imagine them redoing all the Iron Mans again somehow as well. They just, I don't know, and Hot Toys just keep doing the same shit over and over and over again. Yes, they are making improvements each time, 
for the most part, but it is just the same stuff again and again and again. I'm so fucking bored, folks. I've got to be honest. I do these videos because I have to get something on the channel. I've got nothing coming to review at the moment. Well, I, I do, but it's still a little way off yet. So I have to get content out and these big announcements, you know, it just makes sense to get it out there and do a My Thoughts video. But I really am uh, pretty fed up. I mean, don't forget, I've been collecting Hot Toys since 2007. That's a long time ago. I've seen everything. And... Um, they just keep doing the same stuff again and again and again and again and again and again. Uh, that's why I just got big respect for uh, some of the other. I'm going to name drop again because I keep doing it, but you know who I'm talking about. There's other companies out there now on one six scale who just keep surprising us with these announcements that you'd never predict. Um, I did just see that InArt announced the Michael Jackson figure. I'm thinking about doing a My Thoughts video on that, so I'll keep an eye out for it. Uh, run out of time. Drop a like on it for me, folks. Subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy. Bye-bye.